Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry, this is me, Goma Q3 of the weekly contest 298, longest binary subsequence uh, less than or equal to K. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So the first things first, I actually misread this poem. I actually thought it was going to be sub array instead of subsequences. So I was doing um, sliding window uh, of basically sliding window, really. Um, let, uh, if you wanted to, to challenge yourself while you're on this video, try to do it the sub array uh, solution way. Um, I have. I mean, if you watch me later on on the on the live portion of the contest, you'll see the code that uh, that should be roughly right. I mean, obviously, I didn't submit it because it's not for this problem, uh, for subway and and sliding window is something that I always say. You know, practice it and so forth. Um, so yeah, see if you could do the subway version, and then you can compare it to my solution, maybe or something like that, if you like uh, my attempt. Anyway, who knows if it's right. Um, and then now, but this one is is binary subsequence, right? Um, that means that you can take any or all digits um, in some order. The first thing to note is that it's going to be binary, right? So I had to, to be honest, one of the tricky parts for me is that I have to reset myself, right? Because because it's a very small, it's a maybe small difference between sub array and subsequence, but that means that you you know for me I load all into my memory all the things that I deal with sub array and then I have to fold them out to be like subsequence and restart. And that restart is kind of hard uh for me sometimes or like it's just like a rereading a new problem. So so yeah so I kind of did this in about seven minutes but i you know conceptually it's a little bit faster if I didn't misread it. But yeah the note that there could be leading zeros and therefore um Therefore, um, you want order zeros, right? The the way at the very least, you know that that's one answer. It might not be the best answer, but it is one candidate for the answer. It's having all zeros, right? And then the, the the question after that is the question after that is how do you add in the ones as necessary? And that that's the tricky part for this problem. Um, I think for me, for me, I have I I'm not gonna lie. During the contest, I did YOLO a little bit, but I'm gonna go over one example real quick right now. That I say you have this right, and then we know that we want four 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 digits. Um, and then how I thought about it is that it's greedy. What what I mean? What do I mean by that? Let's say that I want to put in a one, right? Well, I could put in a one in the beginning, but that's just gonna be a bigger number. So, or I could put one here, or I can put it here, right? So there are three place, places to put it, uh, you know. And in a greedy way, well, if it's greedy, of course I'm gonna add it to the, you know, if we wanna make sure that we stay less than or equal to K, why would we, you know, ever add the beginning ones, right? So I have everyone add to the end. And that's basically the concept. I add a one here, and then I add a one here, See if it's still good. If it's still good, I add a one here, right? And then see if it's still good, so forth. Depending on what the K is. Um, there are also, if you really want to prove a little bit more th than that that argument that I just had, you could also do some sort of exhaustive cases as well. Because, um, yeah, let's say you have like this case, then you still you want all the zeros anyway, so that's fine. And you can only add this one. You can also think about it like if this is your input, then you still want all the zeros no matter what, and you just still take the rightmost one, right? So that's basically the idea I have. That said, implementation could be a little bit tricky, right? So how do you do it implementation-wise? Um, the way that I did it is actually kind of, I, I consider a little bit clever, but but maybe you know, it's up to you to figure out if that's true. Um, but, well, one is that I reversed the array so that I can deal with left to right. Otherwise, but... Uh, but this this part doesn't actually matter. But I just want to point out so that if you look at the code and it looks funky because you missed this, then you you know you're gonna have a bad time. But it just makes it so that I can go i i from zero to n. Basically, I wanted to go from the bar, uh, from the back to the front, the least significant digits to the the most significant significant digit, right? And basically, if that digit is one, I just literally add it. Why does this work? Because this is basic. Because all these numbers on the prefix are ones anyway. So if you're inserting here, you're ever only going to insert for going from right to left. So you can literally just add it because 
because um, it doesn't change any numbers to the right of it, right? And all the numbers to the left are zeros anyway. So as a result, you can just add it. And that's basically the observation that I made. Um, of course, if you, if you get too high, you break. Otherwise, you increase by one because you added a one successfully. That's basically the idea. This is going to be linear time and uh, constant space, say. Uh, it's not quite constant space, if you want to say that, because I, I did a reversal. But, but you know, you can just do it in constant space. I trust you. Um, one more thing that you might ask is that wouldn't this conceivably be big? Well, the answer is that this, this only goes up to 30 times at most, right? Um, so, so yeah, so this is it. Could be or 30, 31, something like that, because that overwhelms K no matter what. So that means that this is fine, right? So yeah, if you, if you have a question about that, that's why. Um, so yeah, so linear time, constant space-ish. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how you did. Um, this is a very tricky problem, or a lot of logical thinking. So um, let me know what you think. Uh, that's all I have. You can watch me solve a live in contest next, including the part where I did sub away by accident. Yikes on that one. That was like five penalties or something. I was just really rushing it. Um, okay, let's just focus. Oh my god. This is going to be like my worst contest ever. There wasn't even a hard problem. I was just rushing it. And that was a very uh, cold force problem. Is less than 10 lines, okay. That's like at least 30 at most, right? Oh my god, this is GG now. Like, I'm a this is a disaster. Less than or less than or equal to This one. This is right. Five, six, mm, three is not right. Oh, I misunderstood. This is subsequence, not sub. Oh, wow. This is yikes. How many hours did I even have on this one? Four of these is going to be painful. Okay. Um, this is that, that's the worst Q2 I've ever done, maybe. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. This is a little. I, I understood this differently, so now I have to think about it. Hmm. Well, you can have at least all the zeros, and then you have one. But then, hmm. Wow, 
I don't know how to do this one. Man. I have to think about it a little bit. This is to put a wall. I thought it was some way. Is that good? Yes. Let me add a second one. Does it have to be near the end? I guess so. Because if we don't... Because in a greedy kind of way... Yeah, okay. Maybe I buy that. So I think hmm. maybe I could just reverse it, then I can do. Six and six, that's not quite right. Oh, whoops, this is wrong. This is if a sub i ah, is equal to one. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm and the explanation. Um, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.